yes ayush the recordings are available in the website it's already updated okay okay thank you sharavanan so yes let's start i hope um, at least some of you have just gone through the formulas that you have studied so this is the first question and please be ready with your notebook and pen i want all of you to try this question and then we'll discuss in d so this is i would say a very very important pattern or type of questions that comes in entrance examination both H W as well as J. This pattern is always something that's repeating. Sometimes this may change to cot or tan. This power is may vary. There might be another function or something. So this type of question, I would say it's a must when it comes to entrance examination. So the value of 1 plus sine 2 pi by 9 plus i cos 2 pi by 9 divided by 1 plus sine 2 pi by 9 minus i cos 2 pi by 9 whole cube is. I think 9 as if there is anything, please do make use of the chat box and type in it because there are a lot of students who are typing in Q&A part as well as chat box. And those students who are raising your hand, it's completely fine. I'll, I'll just look into the chat box, what are you have typed? Okay. So please type something in the chat box and then raise your hand so that I'll be able to help you. So this is the question and see the answer format. It's like minus one by two into one minus I root three minus 1 by 2 into root 3 minus i, 1 by 2 into root 3 minus i, 1 by 2 into 1 minus i root 3. So, it's like plus or minus 1 by 2 into root 3 minus i or plus or minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus i root 3. Thus, two are the options. It's either plus or minus. So, you need to remove everything. You need to simplify this question in such a way that it's all in this form. Okay, I got an answer as option C. Yes, Ram, we'll just check. 1 by 2 into root 3 minus 1. Completely fine. We'll just check. Just hold on for a moment. I think uh, Sanjay has given the answer C. Shailendran has given the answer as C. Okay, Harshini. Okay, I think 5 or 6 students have mentioned the answer as C. Let's check. Okay, Pranav. It should always be. Yeah, I, I think I got this answer. I hope all of you are having an idea about these type of questions that comes in the examination, right? So, yes, uh, without wasting much time, we'll just start doing it. This is a very simple question. So, this is what is given in the question, right? I need to get an answer in the format that we saw in the options. So, I just want to understand how I'll be. Uh, so, those students have already typed B, D, C. I want all of you to just go and recheck whatever you have done. Okay. Now, coming back to this. What we need to understand is, I want to map this into something that's given into the option. So, I want to reduce this. That's the first aim that you should have. So, here, what I've done is, it's 90 minus theta. So, here, I would be able to write this as cos 90 minus theta. The same applies here. Here also, sin 90 minus theta. Okay. Now, if I'm solving this, I'll have this as 5 pi by 18. So, this I will be able to rewrite as 1 plus cos 5 pi by 18 plus i sin 5 pi by 18 divided by 1 plus cos 5 pi by 18 minus i sin 5 pi by 18 whole cube. Okay. Now, I need to expand this. Okay. So, what I will be doing is, I hope all of you are having that formula book. Can anybody respond? I think you have that. And also an error book like uh, we used to mention in the previous sessions. Okay. I think somebody has responded. Okay. Completely fine. Thank you. So, cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So, we will be able to write this. So, now I am going to just replace 1 plus cos 5 pi by 18 as 2 cos square 5 pi by 18 into 1 by 2. That is 5 pi by 36. Same way, I will be able to write this also. 2 sin 5 pi by 36 into cos 5 pi by 36. So, I am just going to replace this. So, this will be 2 cos square 5 pi by 36. Uh, I would say both the numerator and the denominator. And this will be i is the 2 sin 5 pi by 36 into cos 5 pi by 36. With what are formulas that we have studied in the class, I am just rewriting this. Okay. Because I, I want it to be simplified. So, most of the time, if we are having it of the same form, we will multiply it with the conjugate, right? That way, we used to work. 
So before doing that or before working it in this in that way, I'll be able to simplify it. That's what my aim should be. So here cos 5 by, by 36 is common for both of them. I could take that and I could remove and also 2 is common for both the places. So I can remove it. I can reduce this as this way. Cos 5 pi by 36 plus I sin 5 pi by 36 divided by cos 5 pi by 36 minus I sin 5 pi by 36 whole cube. Now, if you're comfortable with this, you can just use this. This is also easy. Cos theta plus I sin theta. It's erased to I theta. Cos theta minus I sin theta erased to minus I theta. So it's erased to I 5 pi by 36 by erased to minus I 5 pi by 36. So it's 2 into I into 5 pi by 36. So you got the angle as erased to I into 150. So you can write this as, now you can just back replace this as cos 150 plus I sin 150. If you know these values, it's really easy. You could just substitute it and you can solve it. It's minus root 3 by 2 plus I into 1 by 2. This will be minus 1 by 2 into root 3 minus I. Or what you can do is, you can multiply it with the conjugate and you can solve it this way. So here you could apply cos square plus sin square, it's 1. This is cos 5 pi by 36 plus i sin 5 pi by 36 whole square whole cube. So whole raised to 6. So this you can write cos n theta, i sin n theta. So cos 5 pi by 36 into 6 plus i sin 5 pi by 36 into 6. So this is cos 150, i sin 150. So this will be minus 1 by 2 into root 3 minus 1. Okay. So I think there was a small, I'll, I'll just show this question once again because a lot of students are asking it. There might be a small change that happened because of the sign. And this is the answer which was given by the, I would say the JE, I um, have checked it and the JE answer key. Yes, what most of the students did is, they have just got the answer, they have checked the option, that minus they forgot and they have given me option uh, the other option. So please do cross check it once again. This is the first part where I have simplified it. Now I have this form. If you want, you can re-simplify it, uh, it to one more way or re-simplify it to the smallest way that possible, multiply with the conjugate. Or you can go for the erase to part and you can solve it. Both are actually fine. Is this question clear, children? Do you want me to uh, explain any part? I hope everybody knows this method of solving, right? Every, every student knows this method of solving because this is something that... Oh, I'm so sorry. I think some, someone has raised their hand. Can you please... Uh, Type whatever you want to say in the chat box. Dhruvi, I hope it's clear. I think it's Shailendra and I'm not able to see anything. I hope my audio is clear because Athira is saying my voice is breaking. You're not able to hear me. Is my voice clear, children? Can we move forward or do you want me to discuss this again? Because I just want to complete this and then we'll move. Okay, Nainesh, okay. Yes. Now, another question for you, which is a very, very simple question. I think most of you have seen this also. We are moving forward. If somebody is having any doubts, maybe towards the end of the question, we'll discuss. Yes. Another previous year question. Tan inverse of cot of 43 by pi. Answer is minus 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, minus pi by 4, pi by 4. Tan inverse cot of 43 pi by 4. How you can split this? How you can apply formula so that this part will get cancelled and you will get the final value? Anything in, I would say, 3 pi by 4 or pi by 4. So initially what you need to understand is how you are going to split this. That's what the first thing that you should have an idea on. I hope my screen is visible, children. Okay, yes, Ayush. I'll, I'll just give you one minute and then we'll discuss this. Yes, Harshini. I hope I'm able to help you. I'm able to give you an idea. 
because most of the students are like yeah they know how to solve it but in between they'll make those silly mistakes which is going to uh, okay so most of them have fixed it's pi by 4 there is a confusion like is it minus pi by 4 or pi by 4 okay let's see okay yes pranav let's check <laughs> So what I've done is I've changed this into n pi plus theta. So it's 10 pi plus 3 pi by 4. So 40 pi plus 3 pi divided by 4. Okay. Now, how I'll be able to write this? It is called 3 pi by 4. Now, I could write this as 90 minus theta, right? So what it will be? Tan pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2. Sorry, it's 3 pi by 4. So, this will be 4 pi minus 3 pi by 4. It's minus pi by 4. So, tan verse tan, it's gone. It's minus pi by, pi by 4. I think uh, this part is clear. It's a very simple question. And I know most of you made this question uh, correct in the chat box. I think a lot of students replied as option C. Yes. You have to be really careful when you are answering the questions. This is another question. That's why I think you don't need to do anything. It's just 30, sine 30, cos 30, sine 45, cos 45, sine 60, cos 60, sine 90, cos 90. I hope everybody knows the values, right? Yes, Navya, you have given me the answer. Yes, it's option B. I, I too think so. It's 45. This is actually something which comes under an easy category of question. When it comes to any entrance examination, whether it, A triple A, it be A triple A or J A or anything. Okay. So, the value of sine theta plus cos theta will be greatest when theta is. I've just, this is just for your reference. I've taken all of them and I've typed the values here for you to understand. So, sine 30, it's 1 by 2. Cos 30, it's root 3 by 2. So, this is 1.36. Sine 45 and cos 45, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, which is 1.414. Sin 60, it's root 3 by 2 and cos 60, it's 1 by 2. So, this is 1 plus root 3 by 2. That's 1.36. Now, sin 90, cos 90. So, coming to this, the highest value is for 45 degree. Yes, I think someone has raised their hand. I'm, I'm just checking the chat box. If there is anything, um, yes, Dhruvi, it's correct. If there is anything, please do type it in the chat box, children. So, it's like you got three marks now. Just after answering this question, it's three marks for you. And just one more question to all of you before moving to the next uh, uh, question. I know all of you might be busy uh, preparing for the school, the everything, the exams and all. Just wanted to understand how many of you have attended a practice test? It, it could be online, offline or anything. A practice or a model question paper of JE. It's not like you are taking one question. You are just uh, solving the question. And then taking the other question. Finding out the solution. Solving it. I, I don't. I am not asking that. How many of you have dedicated. Maybe like two hours or one hour. I, I would not say three hours. It's like if it's 20 questions from mathematics. If it's one hour. I'll, I'll just dedicate that time. I'll clear those 20 questions. And I'll check what happened. Whether I was able to just read the questions during that one hour. Whether I was able to answer at least five during that one hour. What is my status? How many of you have done that? Okay. Yes, some students have typed. I, I do it in my weekly assessment in which our platform they are studying. Okay. There are students who are still giving answers like I have not prepared. So, this is something which is very, very important. If you're not able to get into an online platform, what you can do is you can take any, um, any, uh, I would say, previous year question paper. You can just take it in your phone. Any, any, anyone. Or even if you feel like, yeah, I want some questions of this chapter because I've studied that chapter. Just take that in your, I would say, system phone or anything. Just take a paper, start solving it. And just think, yeah, this much time for this much questions. This is very, very important. Because you will not be able to understand 
what is the status because there are a lot of things that's going to happen when you are into the in the exam atmosphere when you are in the examination hall when when you have not practiced writing that it will be really difficult for you because you have to understand or you have to sort out sometime you lose for sorting out the basic things what I, is my suggestion is most of the students will be like yeah i'll start with mathematics they will always have a plan of the examination if it's this much questions i'll start with mathematics then maybe I'll, I'll just go through the chemistry and physics, which are I feel as easy, then I'll go for physics. Why I'm saying mathematics is AEEE contains major questions in mathematics. That's why it's 40. Then if you feel, yeah, chemistry, when I have just, I would say, just skipped or just moved each of the questions, I felt like chemistry is okay. So you can write that. And maybe English, I would say in the last two minutes or something, you'll be able to complete all the five questions. So please do practice this. What I used to say is like at least weekly one exam you should write. But now I know you are really busy, tight with your schoolwork and everything. But when you have a holiday, please try to dedicate some time for writing these examination. And for this, you can use the portal that I have mentioned. It's amritacbtpractice.in. So there will be chapter wise and subject wise tests also. That also you can write. Okay. So this is like a tip type of thing which I felt like yeah I would provide. That is very, very important because you will come up with ideas. Yeah, this is what I have to do. This is what I need to do. Okay, so this is the question. A sin theta plus B cos theta equal to root of A square plus B square. Then B sin theta minus A cos theta is equal to. It's completely up to how much you are able to understand the concept. Okay, I got A square plus B square root of A square plus oh, all the options are there. 0 is there, root of a square plus b square is there, 2 root of a square plus b square is there, a square plus b square is there. Okay, this is very confusing. So, yes, let's check. Okay, someone has given me b initially, then they have changed to c. Okay, completely fine. Let's check. I hope you are just taking note of it. So, what I have actually done is very simple when it comes to solving this question. Okay. So, what is given is a sin theta plus b cos, b cos theta, it's root of a square plus b square. So, if I'm taking squares on both sides, it will be something like a sin theta plus b cos theta whole square. This will be a square plus b square. So, if I'm expanding, it's a square sin square theta, b square cos square theta, 2ab sin theta cos theta. So, I'm replacing it as I, I just want because the answer is in the form of whatever is given in the question is in the form of a sin theta b cos theta. But just a second, I'll just show it again. Whatever is asking here in this part is b sin theta a cos theta. Most of the people will forget this part. It's a sin theta b cos theta. Here it's b sin theta a cos theta. The, the mistake that most of the children that I have faced when they are solving this question is this part. They will forget this part and they will just uh, find out the same thing. It's B cos theta minus A sin theta, something like that. They will find and they will give the answer. So, yes, in order to convert it into that way, what I have done is I have substituted here as 1 minus cos theta and 1 minus sin square theta. So, I got A square plus B square minus A square cos square theta minus B square sin square theta plus 2AB sin theta cos theta equal to a square plus b square. So, this part is gone, right? So, uh, Nikhilesh, I want you to type it in the chat box if there is anything. Uh, please do help me with that. Surya, just hold on. I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay. So, now, this is what I got, right? It's a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta minus 2ab sin theta cos theta. Okay, the bracket, I think I, I just forgot it. Now, what is this? It's b sin theta, it's a cos theta, right? So, b sin theta minus a cos theta whole square. So, what it will be? The value will be 0, which is option C. Very easy method, just the formula that you have studied. Yes, you can use different methods to solve a question. That is also there. Okay, I think someone is saying. Uh, okay, just wanted to check whether how many of you have used the portal which I have mentioned, Amrita CBT practice.in. How many of you have registered in the portal and how many of you have written an examination earlier? 
Okay. Because there are students who are raising their hands as they have already accessed the website. But somebody is saying it's not working. Because I have, I have already checked with my team and they gave the confirmation that it's working. Try to clear your history. Take it in incognito mode. It might help you. Okay. So I hope this question is clear. Can we move forward? Okay, Lata. I hope all of you have used the portal. Amrita CBT practice dot in there are a lot of chats coming just hold on oh I'm sorry Nikhil I'm 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 just oh. okay I just forgot it so this was the question that uh, we have just discussed this part I have expanded this part it's gone I have I I just want to rearrange it in a form because that's what the answer is showing or that's what the options are showing I want it to be in the form B sin theta and A cos theta, which is different from what is given in the question. So I have just changed for sin square theta and cos square theta. I have rearranged the terms and it's of the same equation that is, or that could be something like A cos theta, B sin theta, right? In these terms. So if I'm taking it, the value will be zero. Okay. Now, this is a very simple question. I want an uh, answer from all of you. Okay. A very simple question which you can solve in different ways. I think answer is option B. 4 by 5 or minus 4 by 5. Okay. Minus 4 by 5 but not 4 by 5. Okay. A and B is there in the chat box. Yes, Darshan, if there is anything, please do type it in the chat box. I am just looking into it. Okay. But it's like most of you are giving me the option. It's 4 by 5 or minus 4 by 5. So what is the main intention is like, I want all of you to understand that these are the type of questions which is going to come in your examination, in your entrance examination. And I would say especially AEEE has this type of questions. Yes, most of the time that questions itself are uh, sufficient. Yes, Nigel, we do have negative marking in AEEE that uh, questions which are given is really sufficient because it is something which covers all the chapters. Okay. Now, yes, Bhumika, if there is any query, please do type it in the chat box. A very, a very simple question. So, I have, what is given is tan theta equal to minus 4 by 3. Okay. Now, this side I could find out it's plus or minus 5. So, if I am taking the other part, it is, it's, it's final that there will be minus 4 by 5. Or it could be minus 5 also. So, both the options can be there. Now, another way if you are thinking, maybe for sine theta, it's like you can think about the theta in the second and the fourth quadrant. Because already it's given that tan theta is negative, right? So, 4 by 5, maybe when it comes to the second quadrant and minus 4 by 5 when it comes to the fourth quadrant. So, I think almost all of you got this answer as correct only. Yes, there are still some. I don't think so, Adira. Maybe we can do it in the next session. Okay. That completely fine, Mumika. You can continue from where we are now. Okay. Now, the next question. Something that's very common. I think most of you have solved this type of question. This mostly comes like if it might be something like tan, the angles might be different. But this type of question, I would say, was always there in the examinations. So the question is, if cosec theta is equal to p plus q by p minus q, p not equal to q not equal to 0, then cot of pi by 4 plus theta by 2 is equal to, it's root of p by q, then uh, root of p, q by p, root p q and p. PQ. Okay. So here you have cosec theta given in P plus Q by P minus Q form. You have to convert this whole thing into P and Q terms. That's what you need to do in order to solve this question. I think I'll just give you time. Okay. I want all of you to start doing it. Okay, I got an answer. 
okay yes Nagil if if it's such a way okay now uh, just one important point there are questions in a competitive examination where multiple answers might be correct okay so different competitive exams it will be different so if multiple answers are correct if you're choosing any one of them you'll get the correct answer okay you'll get the marks for the correct answer okay you need to check whether there are those category of questions in that question paper in that particular paper because for each exam it's different so for je i think as per my understanding it's not a single one and i i know a lot of exams of that pg level and all where multiple answers will be correct and if you are selecting any one of them you'll be rewarded the marks yes for AEEE exam there is negative marking Okay. Yes, I think we'll just discuss this question quickly. Okay. So, water is given in the question. Just take a note of it. Cosec theta is equal to P plus Q by P minus Q. Okay. Now, what I can do is I need to convert it in the form of P and Q. So, first I'll try to just sort this part. So, what does cot pi by 4 plus theta by 2. I'll be able to write this as 1 by tan, right? Now tan A plus tan B. Tan A plus B by 1 minus tan A tan B. So you can just substitute it and taking this to this side, you'll be able to reduce this because tan pi by 4. You can just substitute the value 1, right? So 1 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan theta by 2. Now, what is given is in cosec form right what is given in the question is in 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 the p and q terms is something like cosec so what i'll do is i'll just convert this into sine and cos so that it's easy for me to substitute with the values so this was 1 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus theta by, uh, tan theta by 2 so i've just substituted for sine and cos and i've reduced this to this way cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 one way that you can use is you can multiply with the conjugate. So, this will be a plus b, uh, sorry, a minus b the whole square and this is a square minus b square. So, you could just solve this cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. This you can write sin 2 theta. So, 1 minus sin 2 theta by 2 which is 1 minus sin theta by cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. One way that you can solve. So, from here, with the cosec theta that's given in the question, you can solve for sine cos, maybe sine, um, sorry, sine cos square and sine square theta. Because it's given as p plus q by p minus q, right? So, thus you can go for 1 by sine, then you can find sine cos, sine square, cos square. That is one way which you can use to solve this. Or maybe you can substitute, uh, you can use an equation in this part that is cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2 and then you can solve it. So, the first part is like what I have taken as cosec square theta is equal to p plus q by p minus q. So, 1 by sin theta, it will be p plus q by p minus q. Sin theta, you got p minus q by p plus q. Now, what about cos square theta? It's 1 minus the sin square theta. You could just solve it and you will get 4 p q by p plus q whole square. So, from that you can find cos theta. It is 2 into root p q by p plus q. Now, you have to find cos square theta and sin square theta. So, you could write this as 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1 as cos theta because it's theta by 2. So, this 2 theta by 2, it, it will get cancelled. That 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So, cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1. That's the first part. Then how you can solve this is once you have the cos theta, once you have the sin theta, you could just solve for cos square theta and sin square theta. So, cos square theta here will be 1 by 2 into cos theta plus 1. So, you could substitute in P and Q terms. Same like sin square theta, 1 minus cos square theta. So, this is like it will take more calculation. That's the first way. And I would say the answer, the option for this question is root Q by P, which is option B. Now, the second part is, this is just really simple. Cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. 
I could substitute as cos theta. So this will be 1 minus sin theta by cos theta. I have all of them. I could just substitute it directly and I can solve it. So in this case also, you when you are solving, the p plus q, p plus q will get cancelled. q and this root q will go and 2 and 2 will also go. So it's root q by p. That is option b. Yes. So I hope this question is clear. If you are having any doubts, please just ask. Because what I have done is, most of the students will follow different methods, right? You will apply different formulas at different points in a question. So which are I felt like, yeah, this one is something which is going to take time when you are trying to uh, take up something for cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. Instead of this, you can just use the formula, you can solve it. Because everybody's problem solving methodology or the type is different. That's why I'm just discussing it. So is this question clear, children? Can we move forward? I I wish you have to respond. I think you have to respond then only. Okay, I think there are answers coming up. Okay, just hold on. Okay, coming to the time part and all, we'll discuss Neera. Just give me some time. Okay. There is negative mark. So, everybody who is here in the session, please listen carefully for AEEE or J, the JE examinations. Negative marking is there. So, it will be 1 by um, third, 1 by 2. It will be different for exams, but most of the competitive exams, it will be 1 by third. Okay. Now, somebody wants to know about the two methods that we have followed. The initial one was like, once you have the value of sine theta from cosec, you can find cos theta. Then you can go for cos square, sin square. That's what the first method. But if you are substituting for all of them, like 1 minus sin theta by cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2, it's going to take a lot of time. So, as we have studied the equation, you can use the equation for cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2. It's cos 2 theta. So, cos 2 theta by 2, the 2 will get cancelled and it's cos theta. So, you can write this as simplified term as 1 minus sin theta by cos theta. Sin theta, you know, it's p minus q by p plus q. Cos theta, no, you know, 2 into root pq by p plus q. So, this will get cancelled and it's just simple to get the answer as root q by p. Okay. Now, coming to, I'll, I'll just show the question, next question. This is also a very simple question. I want, it's like you don't need to have a pen and paper to answer this, right? You don't need a pen and paper to answer this question. It's very simple. So what I want you to understand is these type of questions also comes in competitive exams. It's not like everybody saying it's tough with stuff. It will have that easy category of questions which every individual who has studied their 11th and 12th will be able to write. So you need to have that confidence. Yeah, most of the questions are going to be easy. It's going to be easy. There is a majority that's easy. And there is a, I would say, proper good count that's moderate. They, the, I would say the another percentage is only going to be difficult. So don't ever stress yourself thinking it's going to be a tough exam. Because that is something which every one of you is typing in the chat box. Is it tough? Is it tough? Okay. So, sin pi plus theta, sin minus theta. Oh, sorry, sin pi plus theta, sin pi minus theta. It's sin theta and minus sin theta. So, cosec square is 1 by sin square. So, it's minus sin square theta by 1 by sin square theta. So, it's minus 1. I think the chat box is like filled with all of your answers. It's minus 1. Okay. So, it's a plus 3 for all of you. That's what I want to say. Now, I... I have seen one more question. Maybe when you feel, um, okay, I would just read this and reply. This is being asked by, I think, Neeraj. How to manage enough time for a question like this? This is a problem that I think most of the students are facing. That's why writing model exams or mock exams is really important. When you look into a question, you know, yeah, I know this question. I know how to solve it. But suddenly when it comes to the substitution, maybe using those identities you have, that you have studied, you're substituting something wrong. You're not able to get into it. 
so when are we are in class what we'll do is we'll try one thing we'll try other thing we'll do lot of things and we'll find out yeah we'll sort out the question so most of the kids are losing time in that way so if you feel it's like how much time you're going to allocate for a single question you have to have an answer for that before you're attending a competitive exam so if it's 100 questions and if it's two and a half hours, how much time you'll dedicate for a single question? I want all of you to answer. It's 180 minutes and 100 questions. I think no one is responding. No, Ranjit, I'm not discussing that. I'll come to it. Yes, one, one and a half minutes, right? So if you have already spent two minutes and more than that, then what you can do is you can just leave the question and start checking the next question. That will be really easy. And if you have time, you can come back to the previous question later. Okay. So this tactic has to be used by everybody. I, I don't want anybody to be just stuck in just one question. It will be like two minutes, just a little bit below 1.6, 1.8 minutes. Yes, now coming to the next question. If 2 cos theta plus sin theta equal to 1, theta not equal to pi by 2, this should be noted. 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta is equal to 2 cos theta plus sin theta equal to 1, theta not equal to pi by 2, then 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta is equal to. I think I, I think yes now oh, i think hari harshini okay is it one by two completely fine let's check now there is someone also who, go, who gave me a reply ram i think gave me a reply that the option is one by two okay let's check i am also not having an idea okay ayush is also saying it's one by two so students just start doing it and those who have completed just recheck it and we'll discuss it in a moment Okay, but I got answers as two also. Okay, okay, sorry, Ram. Okay, okay, now everyone started changing answers to option B. Okay, so the aim is to make you understand. Yeah, these type of questions are the these model type of questions are the. Okay, yes, Sanjay, let's check. Okay, Pranav, let's check. Just one moment. Okay, Kaushik, Adira, okay, okay, completely fine. So, yes, the question is 2 cos theta plus sin theta equal to 1. Theta not equal to pi by 2. 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta is equal to. Oh, I'm so sorry. 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta is equal to. Okay. 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta. Understand that's how you need to that is something that you need to find out so initially what i've done okay 2 cos theta is 1 minus sin theta this i'll get 4 cos square theta 1 minus sin square theta so it's 4 cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin 2 theta i would say 2 sin theta plus sin square theta i have just expanded it then this is 4 into 1 minus sin square theta 1 minus 2 sin theta plus sin square theta so what you can do this will be 3 is equal to 5 sin square theta minus 2 sin theta. 3 is equal to 5 sin square theta minus 2 sin theta, right? So, when you are just taking this, you will be able to get two roots. 1 is 1 and 1 is minus 3 by 5. So, now coming to your aim should be something like finding the value of x. Then only you will be able to substitute it there because... The important part is that options are given in this way. They want you to find out the answer of 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta in this way. So, you need to have what is the value of theta. Then only you will be able to find out sin theta and cos theta and substitute it and you will be able to get the answer. So, here the next part that you have done is once you have the value, the two values, you could just think which is acceptable. This is the case which is not acceptable because it is given as it's pi by 2. So, we have to accept the value of sin theta as minus 3 by 4. So, what it will be? 7 cos theta plus 6 sin theta. 
what the value will be now it's easy for you to solve right so you can just substitute and you can find the value of cos theta it's minus 3 by 5 the whole square plus cos theta equal to it's 25 minus 9 it's 16 by 5 that's 4 by 5 so 7 into 4 by 5 plus 6 into minus 3 by 5 that's 28 by 5 minus 18 by 5 which is equal to 10 by 5 that's 2 i think almost all of you got the answer as 2 I think majority of you got the answer as two. I hope this question is clear to all of you. Is this clear? Is this clear, children? Can we move forward? Now, another question which mostly falls under the EC category. Okay, I think it's tan 15. The question is the value of tan 15. Okay, these are the options. Maybe some of you might know the answer just looking into the question. It's tan 15. Okay. Is it root 3 minus 2? Is it uh, 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3 or 3 plus root 2? Okay. Nikhil is saying it's 2 minus root 3. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think most of you are voting for 2 minus root 3. Completely fine. Let's check. Okay. Now, coming to the answer part, this is very easy. The same way that we have done earlier, we have to answer this question. So, I've just taken 4 to 5 minus 30. So this is one min uh, tan A minus B by 1 plus tan A tan B. Now, directly substitute the value. Most of the time, the students end like root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1. It's not there in the option. So, multiply by the conjugate. So, root 3 minus 1 by root 3 minus 1. So, this is root 3 minus 1 whole square. This is root 3 square minus 1 square. That is 3 minus 1. That's 2. Here, it will be 4 minus 4 root 2. So, the 2 will get cancelled here. And it is something like 2 minus root 3. I hope this is clear to everyone. Yes, I think almost all of you got this answer clear. Okay. So, yes, I think uh, today's session will stop here. And if there is anything that you want to ask, yes, Bhumika, what happened? If there is any... Uh, no, okay. So, Atira, this is a general question and I'll just read it out for everyone. The exam is online examination where you have to go to the test centers and you have to write the exam from there. Okay. We'll be allotting you certain systems. You have to write the exam in those systems at the different test centers. Okay. Now, I think those students who are applying for any entrance examination, you will be giving your city preference. It will be something like Coimbatore, Chennai. You will give 1, 2, 3, right? So, based on that city preference, we'll be allotting you different test centers. It could be colleges, schools or any places. We'll be allotting you test centers. But what you can do is you can choose the date and time as per your convenience. But the center will be allotted when it comes to AEEE Amrita entrance exam. The center will be allotted by the Amrita team. Okay. So, I hope that is clear. So, yes, if there are any further queries, children, please type it in the chat box and then I'll be able to help you. It's Amrita CBT practice dot in. Amrita CBT practice dot in. So, Darshan, I hope I was able to uh, give you the answer. And yes, please do check all the previous videos are there in that portal itself. So, I think this is our, uh, I would just check. This is our ninth session of this year. So, yes, all the previous videos will be there. Darshan, if there is any query, please do type in the chat box. Okay. Okay, I think here. Uh, you can download the hall ticket. Okay. What do you need to... Uh, The exam is going to happen from Jan 16 to 22. That's the phase one examination. Okay. Um, I think there was one query. Okay. Hall ticket download will happen only after 
you have uh, done that slot booking because you have to, you have to select the date and time of the examination then after that we'll give you the hall ticket okay so just wait for january 2nd after january 2nd maybe by january 3rd or 4th you'll receive the complete information okay okay just give me some time Mamshi. i'll i'll get back to you yes ram kaushik please uh, type your query in the chat box and just one more thing children i just want to those who have completed you can leave and if you have any further queries you can just ask that and i just want to collect a feedback from all of you is there anything that i have to change when we are taking the session is there anything that you want uh, to suggest or to improve or anything it's amrita cbt practice dot and actually i'm typing that in the chat box i think you can see it <laughs> It's www.amritacbtpractice.in where there will be a lot of examinations and there will be previous year question papers. Everything is there. Our session videos, the, uh, I would say the PDFs, everything. The ACCC syllabus, I think I've just shown uh, in the uh, starting of this session, which is given in uh, amrita.edu slash btech. Where there is something called information handbook. So you can, in that handbook, I think uh, it's a big document and that there will be syllabus. Okay. We have updated the syllabus based on what are changes that CBSE has done. So this is the updated syllabus that's there on the website. Now I think we have, uh, okay, just hold on for a moment, children. Now the next session is going to happen next uh, Thursday. And uh, what is the topic of next session? It's going to math be mathematics only. I know it's straight lines. So after that, I think I'll try to cover physics and mathematics also. Oh, sorry, chemistry also. So just go through the straight lines, just what type of formulas and all. And I hope you have a break also for the Christmas. It's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday and all. So please don't waste your time. This is, a, I would say, a request to all of you because it's exam time and it's you can enjoy, you can take breaks and all, but still don't take a huge break. Be with your books, just refresh what you have studied. And yes, thank you children, all the best and we can see you on next Thursday. Thank you all.